Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy J Rod Four Four Seven back at it again with some NCAA basketball ten Hofstra Dynasty. In this game, we'll be going up against George Mason. The reason why I picked this game was because we do have a former player on this team, and that is Daryl Folks, who transferred. I did like Daryl Folks. I did redshirt him, and I don't know why he transferred because he was gonna add some point guard depth to our team, but he decided to transfer. Also, I picked this game because if you look back, way back. George Mason made it to the Final Four when easily Hofstra should have been in their spot in the NCAA tournament simply because Hofstra beat George Mason for, I mean, twice in only 10 days. Yeah, George Mason made it to the, uh, made it to the tournament, which really was a big old controversy way back when. And look at us. We are just getting to a, a big lead so far of uh, 5 nothing right now. We're we're taking it to the Generals or the Patriots, whatever their name is. And, oh, Ben Mason got a little hang time right there. So, uh, Brian Ramsey has the ball. He's going to pass it out to Ben Mason again. And Ben Mason's going to score. Ben Mason doing good so far. But I might have to change him to small forward because he is very undersized. And we are, we do have a, a power forward coming in next year who's pretty good. And uh, Tim Crawford is very inconsistent. Like the, it, And Jamal White has not, is not as great either when it comes to consistency. So I, I have to do something about that ASAP. I might have to go. And play a little big now. Well, not really, because you know Ben Mason isn't—he's undersized power forward. But whatever. So uh, George Mason, they get the rebound right there. Shelton, and he scores. Also, you guys, tell me what you think about Kobe retirement. I honestly don't really care for Kobe that much, simply because he's a terrible. He's not that great of a person. I mean, when you think about the Lakers' success in the past few years, which has been few, he's taking twenty-five million for what? Averaging um twenty points a game. Uh, you're not helping your team at all. You're making them worse. Oh, what? What you're gonna say that you're getting your team draft picks? No, you're making your team worse. You're shooting your team out of out of the game. People say Mike was like this. No, Mike was shooting like forty percent in his last years and averaging twenty-two points. He was like pretty efficient. Kobe is shooting thirty percent. 30%. Are you kidding me? Just like, should have retired like three years ago. When he had that Achilles injury, it, it should have been over then because he really had no shot of coming back. Dwight Howard came for one year, bounced. Like, Kobe should have really stopped. And you guys see this lead we have right now? They cannot stop as Brian Ramsey gets a steal, passes it to Ben Mason. Ben Mason, clear path, gets the finger roll layup to go. And we're about 21, yo. This is getting a little too easy. So we got our second string in the game right now. And we get a steal with Oliver Good. With Oliver Good when he probably is going to get the six man of the year award for our team. Because this guy has been playing lights out. And that's Aaliel Gonzalez who knocks down a three. Aaliel running the point. I've made up my mind. And Aaliel is going to be running that point guard position. From He's going to be that second uh, point guard out of the rotation from now on. Because he is just... he's. He's a senior, and I do want to get him some time. And Oliver Goodwin has the ball. He's calling for a pick from Aaliyah. He steps back, shoots, and makes it. Yo, Oliver Goodwin has potential. He has lots of potential. Jamal Whitehead, he's very unpredictable. One game, he could give you 20 points, give you like 10 points. Another game, he could give you zero. But he stayed with his shot right there, got the rebound, and got the point, got the bucket to go. I like that persistence. It pays off. But George Mason, they do score right there. We can't give up easy buckets, even though we're up by 23. Nah, we need to we need to win. And, ooh, look at Andre Walker taking it to the cup right there. That is a senior, guys, on senior day, which will be our last uh, home game. We will have all of our seniors start, which is Aaliyah, Andre, and Rokas. And you see Rokas right there getting fouled. He'll be going to the line. That is Enang Jameson. Well, this um name uh, generator, I don't know if they do a good job. Rokas is not averaging the numbers he wants, but his, I mean, his presence is felt on the court, okay? When he comes off that bench, you know not to fuck with him. That's Rokas. You don't fuck with Rokas, okay? So we're up by 27 right now. Elio Gonzalez has the ball. He's going to cross over and gets the layup to go with the left hand. The Puerto Rican Prince scores right there, but a uh, terrible defense. Leads the points, and Poole has 10 points. And I still don't know why this game doesn't like subbing people out. It, it, it's just stupid how the computer never subs people out. And... <sighs> This I wish there was a setting for that where teams can sub more often, but 
I don't know if I can change that. If you guys do know, please tell me. But anyway, we go into halftime, leading 51 to, I believe, 24. That's a 27-point difference. Like, we were killing them. And I thought this was going to be an interesting matchup because George Mason's pretty good in this game this year. But I guess not. 31 p points from the bench. I think that's what it said. Also, shooting 71%. Jeez, man, jeez, and I'm, I really tell you, I thought this was going to be a close game, but when I played this, I was like, wow, really, no, no comp, no comp, okay, okay, so we got our starters back in the game, eight minutes left to go, we're up by, by 29 points, Tim Crawford shoots it, knocks it down, so we're up by 21, uh, Tim Crawford bringing the ball up again, he's going to pass the Ben Mace, who gets muffed. Shelton sent that to the second row. But Brian Ramsey, he's got range. He's got Jimmer range, baby. Brian Ramsey, we always, like, stock up on them point guards. Every year, it's a different point guard who's going to lead the team. And that's what I love about this team. And Tim Crawford taking it to the cup gets the layup to go. I think uh, Brian Ramsey is going to be the only point guard in this dynasty that's going to be a two-year starter. Because uh, Deion Nesmith only started one year because he was a senior. And Wanya Green only started one year because he was a senior that year after Deion left. And after that, that's why we have uh, Brian Ramsey. So, you guys see the score right now. We're up. We, we doubled them up, basically. And we're not stopping. We're not stopping, okay? Even though we put ourselves in, we still want to score. And that's why Oliver Goodwin knocks down the three right there. Oliver Goodwin, he's a lights-out shooter. He's going to get even better as the years progress. And Jamal Whitehead gets fouled. So he'll definitely be going to the line. Averaging about three points a game, I guess? It's not that great, but, you know, he's I. He's I. I. He's not that much of a scorer. He just uh, plays good defense and passes the ball. Hey, that's fine by me, but he misses one and makes one, so he splits the free throws, and we're up big. I think we're up by uh, 43 points. Holy mackerel, and Greg Wheeler says, why not let it fly from three, and he knocks it down. Yes, we got Greg Wheeler in the game. He's playing the two right now. Oh, look at the ooh, look at the dunk by Jared Hinton, the pump, and the dunk by Jared Hinton. That was you haven't seen a lot of that from Jared Hinton. You haven't seen him get a lot of playing time this year as well. So, you guys see the score, 92 to 46. There's no way they're coming back. We're going to end up winning, but uh-oh. Look what Andre going to do. He dunks it down with a minute left to go. 35 seconds left to go. Andre Walker has the ball. Clear path in front of him. Just, just get another dunk, Andre. Get another one. You a senior, man. You deserve it. I remember when he was a freshman, he was starting. He didn't do that well. Oh, Greg Wheeler says, not again. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Back-to-back -back jacks from three-point. He makes them both. And we end up winning the game by 50. 50. 50. 50. And your your um players of the game, obviously, Brian Ramsey. He's, every time I play with him, he's... So, we end up winning the game. George Mason had no chance. Well, they did have a chance. I thought they had a chance. But, obviously, by this gameplay, you see they had no... They couldn't stop our offense. And we're the 18th top toughest place, places to play in this game. So, that means our fans, they get loud and rowdy. So, Damian Hastings almost had a double-double. Uh, ben Mason, he did okay. Tim Crawford did okay. Our starters, you know, they did what they had to do. And then our bench, they took over and did what they had to do. Andre Walker had 10 points. I got to clap for him because he was a senior, and I want to get my seniors involved. So, yeah, basically, this, this was a great game. Anyway, this is another J-Rob video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and peace.